Hi, how are you? God bless you all. Hey, we're back again, and we're going to be doing a scripture and art project, and today we're going to be painting a cross, and this is Alex's idea. So let us pray in. Dear Lord, I ask that you will um, forgive me for all my sins, seen and unseen, God, and I pray that everyone that hears what thus says the Lord will be blessed. And Lord, may we just glorify you in all the things that we do in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Okay, so we're going to go straight into Scripture. And Alex is going to read. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. This is the commentary. Christians are brand new people on the inside, and they are not the same anymore. We are not reformed, rehabilitated, or re-educated. We are new creations living in a vital union. With Christ, we are not merely turning over a new leaf. We are beginning a new life under a new master. He is a new entity. The some way that a new a newborn baby is a new person. Amen. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? And you know, um, I just love the way um, Alex loves the Lord because it's so pure and wonderful. Amen. Psalms one thirty nine fourteen. I will praise thee, for I am fearly and wonderfully made marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Commentary. God's character goes into creation of every person. When you feel worthless or even begin to hate yourself, remember that God's spirit is ready and willing to work within you. God thinks of you constantly, and we should have as much respect for ourselves as our maker has for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Isaiah 26, 3. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, not as the world gives you, do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John 14, 27. Commentary for Isaiah 26, 3. We can never avoid strife in the world around us. But with God, we can, have per we can know perfect peace, even in turmoil. When we are devoted to him, our whole attitude is steady and stable. Supported by God's unchanging love and mighty power, we are not shaken by the surrounding chaos. Isn't that the truth? John 14, 27, the end result of the Holy Spirit is deep and lasting peace, unlike worldly peace, which is usually defined absence of conflict. This peace is confident assurance in any circumstance with Christ peace. We have no need to fear present or future. If your life is full of strife, stress, allow the Holy Spirit to fill you with Christ's peace. Amen. I want Christ's peace all the time because we're being so tested right now for what's going on in the world, aren't we? Everyone. Everyone is so under attack, especially us saints and people who love the Lord. We're getting attacked here and there. People are sick. We're praying and standing in the gaps for all the people that God loves so much even he loves the sinners he loves everyone that no one shall perish so today we're going to be making crosses look at alex he already started it so he's going to continue as as i start to draw mine but i just love the lord so much that he is constantly on my mind and we really need him all the time, not just some of the time, 
but all the time, amen? So I'm going to turn this down. We need him constantly. We really, really do. I know for me, I need him when I wake up. I need him during the day, at lunchtime. And so we need his peace, don't we, Alex? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, Alex said the other day, he says, Grandma, I feel like we live in a virtual reality, reality video game. And, and you know what? He's right. His spirit man is telling him right that something's not right. Because I'm sure that he feels the stress. And we've been going around today witnessing to people, Teen Challenge, uh, the young men. We are praying with young men. And Alex got in there and prayed and asked God to get him through the day. Amen? Mm -hmm. So we're all going through it. We all are. No one's exempt. But... Jesus' yoke is so easy, and we stand beside him, and he stands beside us so that we can have joy and peace. And that's the word for today is peace and joy. Amen? And no one can steal it. No one. I don't care what is going on out there. No matter what our circumstances are, God is taking care of us. Amen. Because he loves us so much. And so I am so thrilled that Alex is going to get baptized this weekend. And I pray and I told him, I said, you know what, Alex, I'm going to rededicate my life too. Not that God doesn't already know that I'm already dedicated, but I just want to support Alex and go out there in the ocean and say, Lord, make me anew. Amen. Even though, you know, sometimes we can get stagnant. Sometimes we can have a dry, dry moment in our walk. And um, I just think it's wonderful. And I pray that Alex will come up from getting baptized with the old and into the new, speaking tongues in his own language for the Lord, in his own secret prayer language. And that is going to be such a blessing. Amen? <laughs> Amen. And you know, it's a perfect timing for him because he's 12 and he's really making that decision. He's really making that decision. And God wants to use even a 12-year-old. And... I just love it. So we're making little, I'm just going to just draw this. And so, Alex, can you explain why you want to give your, your whole life to the Lord at this age? He's been going to church since he was little, before I even went to church. Didn't, didn't, um, and I remember him, he told me today, he said, don't you remember, Grandma? When I wanted you to go to church, that was like when he was three and four year, four years old, you were going to church, didn't you, Alex? Mm -hmm. I said, no, I don't remember that. I don't remember at all, but I do remember going to his church and they had so much love for me. I felt like I was a movie star. They all came over and hugged me in fact, Lisa, his mom, um, set the whole thing up for me. And I had no idea that everyone in the whole church would come over, give me a hug, and welcomed me. This is before I was actually saved. And I said to my husband then, I said, I never felt so much love in my entire life than going to the church that Alex goes to. And it's true. It's true. So Alex, Alex was used even for, for my walk, for my life way back then. And so it's just so wonderful to have a grandson that loves the Lord. And he hasn't had a, the best of life so far, Alex, but Grandma's teaching you, huh? Mm-hmm. And he loves getting into scripture 
And he just sets the example in our home and he reads it. He's not shy about it. And so um, I am just so grateful for Alex and how God is going to use him because he has great plans for Alex, right? Mm -hmm. And his church loves him. The youth pastor says, wow, what a joy it is to have Alex come and be part of the ministry. And they just love Alex. And that's what it's really all about, isn't it, Alex? Love. Loving and praying. Is there anything you want to say, Alex? About the Lord? No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. I know you'll say something. I know God has given him discernment. And I remember one time he, I said, and make sure you find a good scripture. And he says, Grandma, all the scripture is good. <laughs> so out of the mouth of babes. And it just really encourages my walk. Because when children speak they really are precious and pure and we need help and one of the prayers that um, that I asked Alex today what what is it in your walk that you need help with and he said faith and he said, um, faith and more concentration. And those are all doable. Because God says, ask and ye shall receive. Amen? Mm -hmm. so, except if it's money. Except for if it's money. And why is that? Greediness. Greediness. So greediness is a big one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, money is, is, is an idol to many people. They identify themselves with money and power and really, and control, right? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the, uh, a color of white. Okay. So, Alex knows. He's experienced it. He experienced it. I just love the cross. The cross is just so beautiful, isn't it? We can go there any time of the day, of the hour. And, and know that Jesus will be there. There's no busy signals. There's no waiting in line. That's pretty. Thank you. It reminds me of freedom. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it look like a butterfly? Um, it reminds me of when you can draw with such joy. The Holy Spirit takes takes charge. And just nothing but beauty comes out, right? Mm -hmm. And the beauty of the cross is that Jesus died for my sins and we can confess our sins. We can ask God to help us in areas that we are weak whether it's faith or frustration or unbelief. You can find the solution. So we are to confess with each other so that we can help. Hey, I'm not alone. You know, you can say, hey, well, I have problems in that area. I need help with, you know, getting frustrated and and expecting too much from people and um, 
instead of just having peace and waiting for God's timing. Amen? Amen. So we just thank the Lord. Is there one special thing that you would like to, to ask from the Lord, Alex, that could help you in your walk or or someone else's walk? That's right. We can we can pray for others as well, can't we? Mm -hmm. So who would you like to pray for? I pray for my grandpa because he's off the wagon. Mm -hmm. What does off the wagon mean when... When you, that's a big that's a big thing that people say when when you're addicted to kind of drugs or alcohol they go off the wagon they're good for a while and then they go off the wagon something might trigger them to want to drink but it's usually the enemy who wants to make us drink and feel lousy right mm -hmm. so well let's just pray for that let's just pray for your grandpa who is my ex-husband. See, I have forgiven, and um, I pray for everyone because it's, it's the, God still loves them. And, and the biggest part of divorce is, have we really forgiven? I've forgiven my former husband of drinking and things that are not like God, but... That's between him and the Lord, but I can still pray for him, right? We can still pray. Mm -hmm. And Alex witnesses things that, you know, a 12 year old shouldn't witness when he drinks because it can be scary, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's so like the star. Are you done with it, Alex? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So I just want to share with you. Look what Alex did. That's like the Holy Spirit and the star. Isn't that gorgeous? Lord, I just thank you for Alex's Holy Spirit and how you had him draw the cross and the light and the stars and the, and the rain. Isn't that beautiful? Alex, what are these white spots? Is that rain or um, what is that? Oh, no, I don't know. Wanted to do it. It's gorgeous. It's almost like the wind or Yeah. And then duck. Duck. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Oh Lord, we just love you. I think this came Thank out. Thank you, Alex. It came out beautiful. Oh yeah, two little art projects, huh? <laughs> okay, so we'll let that rest. So is there anything else that you'd like to would you like to say a prayer for your grandpa right now? While you're there? Come on, let's just say a prayer. And we'll come into agreement with your prayer. Because, you know, once once you start learning how to pray, then it'll become just so special. And God hears your prayer. So let's pray for your grandpa, okay? Go ahead, and I'll come into agreement. I, I pray that he stops drinking and that he gets better. I pray that... Go ahead, baby. He knows the Lord, maybe? Mm -hmm. That he know that he'll know that it's the Lord and that he's not alone. Right? Uh, yeah. So we pray for his salvation, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, that's a wonderful prayer. Lord, we know that you heard Alex's prayer. And we know that grandma's prayer and his prayer came to pass with his mother and we come against every generational sin of addiction we ask that you will uh, sever all soul ties for addiction in um, alex's uh, um, mother's side and father's side and that they too will be saved and set free in jesus name and um, we know that nothing is impossible with you god we know that we have to walk in faith, not by sight, and that we will see the testimonies, how you're working in his grandfather's life. And Lord, we ask that you will bring Elisa into the marvelous light. She's got a job at Tesla, and I pray that you will bless her with godly people, not worldly people, with godly, with godly people and that 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 she too will be saved in Jesus name so I just pray that 
you really, really enjoyed this, and may we all have peace that passes all understanding. Amen? So I don't know how we can do this, but maybe like this, Alex, like this. Yes, the crosses. Aren't they gorgeous? Well, we love you. Alex, say hi. Hold on. He has to put his hat on. <laughs> say hi. Hi. Say, God bless you and have a wonderful weekend. God bless you and have a wonderful weekend. We love you. God bless you all. And have a wonderful, blessed evening, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.